So, welcome, 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 dear people, for my actually first kind of top 10 ish thing I'm doing. I am, well, first, let me say how I kind of came up with this list. Um, when it's hard to compare so many heroes and go down to only two uh, ten that you really like and so I just brainstormed a little with my itsy bitsy brain and just threw out a set of ten heroes I not really recommend as my personal top ten heroes in the game as it is now could shift already tomorrow so um yeah it's not not always easy to actually come down with 10 you know <coughs> you have 10 and then ah you remember one about where where to put him where to put him and who th who to throw out and you know um currently so many heroes out there and the meta is kind of shifting relatively fast so i yeah i was just reviewing my uh, past three years and thought who who i actually used the most helped me the most and yeah so i came up with this list so um yeah enjoy number 10 yeah number 10 is the infamous the one and only ametrine <coughs> in my list because first availability is kind of a cage so she's relatively easy to acquire um because she's a four star mainly and um yeah well ninjas we all can agree on this are kind of op at least except the green five star and yeah, so what she is is basic, basically a Kageburado 4-star. And yes, she might not do that much damage on the first charge, but she dispels before hitting. So this is pure gold in my opinion. She's easy to acquire, um, except for the, her, uh, her looks, because she looks like a cheap ripoff rip -off from Ayane from uh, Dead or Alive. But yeah, she can actually replace a. I have another one. No. She can replace a Kageburado, which is kind of a little bit harder to acquire. If you agree. Mm. So, and what does she need? She only needs six tiles to fire, which is. Awesome already. Hmm. See, and yeah. So why I came up with with her first? Yeah, I love I love a good Kage Burado and um yes she might be buffed by gazelle but as you can see she does quite a lot of damage and oh, i obviously have to heal here except she said ooh, that was close <laughs> Um, and yeah, her main re main reason for me putting her on number ten is yeah, she's easy to acquire, and she hits kind of hard, and you can use her in five star tournaments, especially against a say a black knight tank, for example, or. 
every buff that can be dispelled by past and repost for example that's a great one too all these sif tanks you're facing she is quite good and even if uh, when you reach her um your second loadout not loadout what's it called tell me again where are you so weedy her second mana charge thank you it's quite quite decent for average so yeah only thing that's off a little is a class barbarian don't like but yeah so this was number 10 the number nine yeah, number nine is unfortunately the unholy Wilbur, the valiant fisherman. And yeah, why you ask? Because I am, I was or used to be not a fan of him. Well, I am not really, um, well, I can't actually say if I was wrong. Kind of, I was wrong. I don't say he's useful any everywhere, but um, let's just yeah. Um, so where he's where, so he's relatively or was relatively easy to acquire because he's a four star in Atlantis. So we all did tons of or most of us did tons of Atlantis pulls. So it's not that hard to get him unless you're really unfortunate or. That really have not a lot of luck or are free to play of course but um he is really 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 useful against titans because he keeps you alive even against uh, 14 star titans and at 14 star titans i still use him to this day to uh, for uh, for mana down for the mana down effect and uh, mana down defense defense down and defense up effect just so my taller can survive better and yeah, that's not cool <laughs> do i really have to think here <laughs> and yeah easy to acquire and once again, um, he's a four star, easy to ascend. Um, basically, Jesus, where are all the fucking reds? Ah, there they are. See, my only healer is gone, so let's see the game. At least the Holy Wilbur will teach us here. Probably nothing of substance. Yeah, Jesus. Blues in the center. <laughs> Even if she comes through the dodge. Oh, all dodged. Wow, this is nice. So he keeps you alive even when the odds are against you. Wilbur is essential at going for top scores, um, challenge events. Not into that, but most of him, uh, most of us, or almost everyone uses red teams, unless in. Grim Forest, Grim Forest, I believe Grim Forest is countering. Countering rats, yeah, and I'm. I admit, yeah, he is super helpful, and I'm currently thinking about actually embleming him up to emblem him up, uh, so he can be a little bit more useful in wars, actually. So yeah, Wilbur is the number nine. Number eight. Yeah, the number eight. As you can see, that is one I actually don't have. So I have to 
show you her card. Most of you know her. Most of you have her because she is a former Year of the Month. And what makes her so great? Again, acquirability or availability. She was a Hero of the Month, so basically every douchebag has her. Sorry, all douchebags out there, I don't have her. So yeah, what makes her great? Her skill is fast, she hits pretty hard for a fast hitter, and she has a lot of benefits. Passive against mana reduction is pretty awesome. It's one of the best, if not the best, um, uh, passive skill. And yeah, she is a beast of a corner camper or corner hitter because she uh, can be super annoying to kill if you don't have snipers in your war team left and it's pretty, pretty nasty to kill her with tiles if you don't have yellow stacked attack teams. And yeah, her replicator minion doesn't make it much easier to kill. And her mana regeneration. She is all in all one of the best strong hitters, if not the best strong hitter. I mean, she dispels not everyone, but the hit, the hit hero, and then two next to him. It's, this is pretty, pretty awesome. This is why I really wanted her and did, I don't know, 100 or 150 pulls and didn't get her, which is pretty nasty and still pisses me off to the day. And yeah. I'm not, not even pissed, I'm kind of sad every time I see her fucking ugly bitch face. And, ah, I just want to hit it. Yeah, this is the number eight. And yeah, since I don't have her, I can't show you anything of her. Sorry. The number seven. The number seven is the one and only Bloodstained Druid Gravy, 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 Grave, Grave Maker. And yeah, now you're wondering probably why is he choosing, has he chosen him? Because for most of you, he's probably not easily, easily available. And yeah, he's talking, he has four of them. Sooner or later, he becomes irrelevant, is my guess. It's getting more and more ir ir irrelevant, in my opinion at least. Um, but he's one of the first, he was a hero of the month first, so he was easy to acquire back then. Um, I have the feeling many super, super many people have him in the top 100 and yeah he's still one of the best tactical hitters. He's very fast so there are not many five good five stars very fast that can actually do amount this amount of damage. The only downside with him is the element link, which is basically useless in my opinion. To, even if it stacks, it's taking six turns, so usually when Finlay hits me and this is the only buff up, he hits Gravemaker and gets second hit, so yeah. This is Gravemaker. Gravemaker burns through flesh like shit. <laughs> As does Gazelle. And yeah, well, currently you can only acquire him through sporadic um, appearances in Atlantis, I believe. Uh, where else? Where else can you get him? Um, Hero Academy? And, ah, Tavern Legends. Tavern Le Legends. Oh, what's, what's it called? Wow, this is a nice board. Um, Tavern of Legends. Yeah, well, now burn. <laughs> yeah, this team might not be the best demonstration of the greatness of Gravemaker. How about... Burn. So we find a funny opponent. Mm. 
said a funny one. Mm-hmm. All righty, let's go. Hmm. Ugh. Okay, I was lucky. <laughs> oh, let them bleed. Let them burn. Yeah, of course. Yeah, what else is to, to say? I mean, it's Gravemaker. I mean, everyone wants a Gravemaker, my experience. I mean, it's not like I... I don't know. And I mentioned it before, I actually didn't want him when he was Hero of the Month. I was actually mad that I got him. And in retrospect, it was maybe stupid, yeah. But... Yeah. I'm not known for my logic in this game, so yeah. <laughs> That's Gravemaker for you. Six, 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 six. Yeah, the number six. One of my favorites. Kagiburado. The Cursed Warlord. Not only because he's uh, yeah, more like samurai. More close than to a samurai than anything else here, um, but I liked him on the first glance. I saw him uh, when Atlantis was introduced, and yeah, his his skill is. I actually had to check twice if they are serious about this. So these spells buff before hitting there was a whole new level and it was yeah i get that he is hard to acquire and i still i can't remember how i got i think i had a i got him through a 10x i don't even i think i don't even have the the pull video i'm not sure i don't think so i think i did a 10x on a side or so and actually got him and i wasn't as crazy happy as I was, for example, for Lady of the Lake. Not because I was so happy for getting him, but I think I got way more five stars back there, back then. And yeah, I was super, super happy and I couldn't believe it. I got him. Anyway, uh, why is he so great? Okay, again, class barbarian sucks. I'm no fan, but he uh, does 450% damage. Which is not as much as uh, Liana with her 510 plus the chance to bypass. Mm. But the main thing is he's very fast. So he goes off in six tiles with a level 11 mana troop. And um, hammers through buffs if you get him, get him fired in time. Trying to demonstrate here, but no purple tiles yet. <laughs> hmm. 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 Not really helpful showing off your benefits if you are not firing <laughs> in time. But just. Oh. Here we go again. Usually with him dispelling and Alassi, it was my main team. One is dead, 
So and still is great. I mean, we can compare. Look at this first. Boom. 809. See, maybe she bypasses. No, she doesn't. So they basically do the same damage. 462 and he does 450. Yeah. But defense buff up, defense buff gone. Love it. Um, yeah. So can we save this? Yeah, sure. I shouldn't have done this, but... <laughs> Oh, oh, don't hit. Thank you. Don't mind. Hmm. <laughs> oh, well, we'll let you burn a little. And then kill you a little. Boom. Yeah, just a fan of Kage Burado. I know many are, many are not using him anymore. And he deserves emblems, in my opinion. Just because he doesn't take damage when I hit Richard. And big thing about him is he can dispel... Um, can dispel a black knight tank and hit him actually so it's not one damage he does so he does the full damage which is pretty nice so yeah and these days you really have to have to have a fucking hero for every situation I'm currently missing one against it's a countermeasure for a costume kettle. Now that I'm thinking of it, but yeah, number six, Kage Burado. And yeah, so for the second part, since this is already probably taking too long, um, next part comes probably next week with places one to five and the. And some heroes that didn't make into into the list. Yeah, well, stay tuned. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment. And thank you for watching. See ya.